Today on Extreme 4x4, our transmission and transfer case get serious performance boosts. It's not just going to stop with the chassis. We'll powder coat and dress up some of our engine components, rebuild our transmission, and tear into our axles. Now, even though the majority of our project is out of our two-car garage, that doesn't mean we have to stop working on it. There's lots of upgrades that we still need to take care of on the drivetrain, and especially now that we have all this open space, it makes it a lot easier. Now, we decided to run a Turbo 400 in this rig for a couple different reasons. It's a good, strong, three-speed automatic that once we upgrade it, we'll be able to handle all the abuse we could throw at it in the dirt. But more importantly, it is a very easy automatic transmission to rebuild in a small two-car garage. You don't need any special tools to completely overhaul this unit. And if you've never rebuilt an automatic transmission before, this is a great one to be your first official overhaul. Now we're going to upgrade everything in the case with an entire package from Monster Transmission. This is their Monster in a Box kit, and it's all the popular upgrades in one spot. Heavy duty band, red alto clutch discs, choline steels, new one-way clutches, and a new heavy duty drum. Now we did add one upgrade to the kit, and that was to include a full reverse pattern manual shift valve body. Now what that means is basically first gear and reverse are a lot closer together on the shifter that's in the rig. When you start climbing up that steep hill and you feel that front suspension unloading, and it's going to roll back on itself, you just have to slap the shifter forward and it'll automatically engage reverse and you can back down the hill. We've shown you countless Turbo 400 rebuilds before, but when you're dealing with a reverse manual valve body with engine braking, there's some specific steps that you have to follow. We do have some rust on our input drum assembly, and this is a perfect opportunity to use the new WD-40 rust soap. The part can soak in the fluid, and the rust will be removed without damaging the base material. The middle Teflon sealing ring on the center support needs to be removed and discarded for the valve body to work correctly. The direct drum is torn down and the new monster transmission piece is rebuilt using a heavy duty one-way clutch, all new lip seals on the piston, and the matching springs for our valve body. Then all the clutches are soaked in fluid and installed. And the clearance is checked above the direct clutches to match the valve body specifications. Then the entire assembly is dropped into the case and the rest of the transmission reassembled. and we'll finish it off with the pump. Inside the valve body, the sealing rings are removed and discarded from the accumulator piston. Then a single check ball is installed. Next, the spacer plate, gasket, and the new reverse manual valve body are installed, followed by the filter, and a new chrome pan. 